before we get out of the the space that Maya helped drop us into in that um, theater, thank you for the performers, to the performers. Um, and what she led her story with was the, the, the hard and the dark and the troubling, um, like it's not easy, it's not easy to hear. The thing that I want to, one of the seeds I want to plant is, you know, she and Andrea and her organization, they are going into the dark with light, with hope. And yes, there is not, there, the statistics are not there, but, but mirror image arts and restorative theater hasn't been there till now. So we get to be a part of the, of the arc, the story arc of hope. And so the seed I want to plant is this, uh, as, we, as we move towards wrapping up is to to take a moment before like leaving the the grit of the stories that we heard those that was a powerful piece oh my gracious thank you and tell the boys the men the young men what a gift that was really if if you're allowed we can share the video of if with the performers permission with them that might be cool for them to hear um, let me know if any of the performers, if you don't want your story shared, but otherwise with, we'll, we'll share it with them. Um, so the thing I want to invite you all to do is on um, on your chair, there are these post-it notes. And um, the pop that we talked about, the place of pause, has three parts. The first is a moment to be still, which we did thanks to my three friends. And then the second two parts are, are C, two Cs contemplate and commit. And so the thing I want to just, this is like kind of for you to take into your evening, but just even in this moment, I'm curious if you were to just take a beat and take a breath. If there is something in that contemplative space that you just want to like take with you, like write down a word. This is not, you are not leaving this for me. I'm not going to add anything weird. Like this is for you to take. It's an archive for you. Is there something that you that you're feeling is percolating in your heart that you want to make sure you just don't forget and that kind of discernment, contemplative part about your story, something you heard that Maya shared, something you learned. It can be anything. There's no agenda. And then the second thing is if there's anything that you want to just write down before it pops out of your head that you want to leave here committed to, I'm just curious, just for a, a, a pop. And we're just, I'm, I'm going to ask Kofi just to play for like 10, 20 seconds. Just like, what might you want to think different or be different after this? And what might you want to commit to? I'm curious. And the second post it note is there. Um, because I have this little bowl that I call my prayer bowl. And um, I just would love for the second post-it note, if there's something um, in this work, in this space of restorative theater that you want to pray, or if you aren't a prayer, if you're a meditator, if you're a walker, like something that you want to hold in a deep, sacred space that, that you wouldn't mind sharing with me. I, I This sits next to me when I work, and I will... I will hold that if it's something from the story tonight and if it's something in your own life. I know that we're human beings and life can be hard. So if there's something that I can hold in my meditation prayer bowl in your story, I promise I will do it. You can sign your name or you can leave it anonymous. And there is power in the things we need being witnessed. So even if it's me witnessing your post-it note. It's just an invitation, so I'll leave this here. Um, the next thing, the, the nearly last thing I want to do before we wrap up, for those of you that are new, we, we end our nights, our gatherings with what we call radical reciprocity. And this is based in this belief that in a community, we all have things we need and we all have things that we can offer. And I've had so much fun over the last 20 years just 
opening the space and literally sometimes it's like, I need a couch. And someone's like, oh, I have a couch. It's literally like, oh, okay, let's do that. Um, in September, I had some dear friends and they were adopting an asylee from Honduras and they were like, we need an immigration lawyer. And someone's like, I have an immigration lawyer, like at the night. I mean, you just don't know until you ask. So I guess I'm just curious. Um, I don't know if you saw this in the email. Um, it was this invitation. If there's something you need, literally, physically, like a car or a, you know, thing in your physical space, or if there's something, a job, and, and I need it to be a, like a 10, 15 second sound bite. Um, and then if you have, if you have something to offer, you know, um, that you don't need anymore or a skill you have that you love to share. So I just want to open it up. Does anyone have anything? And I ask you um, to either come take the mic or to say it, and then I'll repeat it in the mic. Either way. Anything? In our, yeah, Daniel. I should want to ask if I can say something that's not part of the prep for us. Yes. Anything always. Um, Maya, thank you. Really heartwarming and inspiring story. Um, and I love how it illustrates both uh, the power of um, someone who um, sort of experiences enough love to take it out into the world, um, and the story of uh, those who um, are uh, really sort of pushed aside, abused, and uh, and the the really tough experiences that they have, and I think um, it is that being loved that is the difference. And um, you know, if we if we don't experience um, being loved, if we don't find where we're loved, and we don't believe that we're loved, uh, if we feel like we have to um, that we're alone, that we have to fight for what we need, um, that we have to take what we need that we're unloved, um, we're going to hurt other people, even if we don't end up going to prison. And, um, and we're never going to believe that we have things that we can give to the world uh, to love them. And so um, I just, I just want to encourage all of us to really start from accepting the love that um, that is there for us to receive. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have anything they'd like to share as part of the something you need or something you have to offer at war? Good gracious me. Any blessing like that. Thank you. That was awesome. Wow. Nothing. Yeah, come over. Do you want to? I'm not. No, come up here. Come on. Yes, front and center, yo. Hi. Um. Thank you guys for being so welcoming. Um, this is my first time here, and I did not think I would get up here, but um, I guess this is something that I both need and can offer. Um, so um, I am currently uh, looking for work. I re recently graduated in communications. Um, and initially in my job search, I was just thinking, oh, it's just a job. It's just money. I can do <laughs> whatever I need to do. But the more that I've been searching for a job, I'm finding that I can't just do whatever, you know, it has to be something that I care about and, um, it has to be something that I feel actually contributes and utilizes um, the the blessings that I've 
been blessed to receive and the skills that I've learned and the experiences that I've had. So yeah, I I would love to be able to um, help advocate for um, people, especially children and youth. That's what my experience is in. Um, and so if anyone has any pointers or anywhere that I can, any connections or uh, tips that you guys have, places where I can look, I would really appreciate that. And um, I also want to be able to use my creativity in my work um, because I find that when I can't, um, when I feel that that's stifled, I feel that it's very draining for me. So thank you. <laughs> She found us on Eventbrite. Oh my gosh, I was like, so fun. Eventbrite brings beautiful people together. Maybe you could share your resume about what you do. Oh, in a follow up with everyone? Yeah. Yes. Yes, thank you. Good idea. I'll do a follow-up email to everyone, um, including, like I said, follow-ups with Kofi and Mirror Image Arts, just because we love the ripples that always come from these things, whether it's tomorrow or in a year. You know, just stay tuned with me if, if you want to loop back into these guys' worlds. But if you, with, if you would be willing, girl, get me your resume, and I'll include that in the follow-up. I call it inspired ac the Inspired Action Resource follows up from here. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to wrap up because I want to honor that it is a school night, work night for everyone. Um, and I left my... Um, and But I want to invite you guys, for those of you that can stay, um, please do and grab a glass of wine or a cup of tea, sit on the couch, um, maybe till 9 30 9 45 and then I don't know if you guys know this but my husband had a heart scare two weeks ago so I'm committed to like quiet household at 10 sort of a thing so that I can get him to bed <laughs> along with my kids so um but please stay because the conversations that happen like the, the after party is, as we call it is like always where some really great stuff happens um I'm gonna have Maya come on up please because I want to um the, um, one of the things, one of our tenants here at Seeds is something that we call everyday philanthropy. And that is, it is about exactly what Daniel said. It is about this belief, this commitment that we all have this wealth inside of us, these um, passions, these loves, these ways to contribute to the world. <coughs> It's amazing, and it's not just for the change makers or the philanthropists or the whatever the ways that we define people that make a difference. It's like that torch is a blessing of being human. And so we have a couple, um, the table in our dining room, our dining room table has all these like fun swag things. It has my books if you want to buy those. We have a... Um, February special on the Nepal bracelets um, that we call brother and sister bracelets um, for the month of love. It's buy four, get one free. And it's kind of like the thing with that is how we spend our money. Um, my friend Angela in Kathmandu, like it's one of the ways that she supports her family through making these bracelets. So if you have gifts, it's kind of a cool way to be like, oh, I can give a gift and make a difference with my shopping dollars. Um, and then the other thing that we do at Seeds is we always have a partner um, in the world that we uh, give a portion of the money we make from book sales and events. And um, it's like a, a spotlight for a month or two in, during the year. And our February spotlight is Mirror Image Arts. And Maya did mention this, that um, the, our goal in February is to raise $1,200 for Mirror Image Arts, which will cover three of the fellas yes, in a 12-week program. In a 12 -week program. Um, and until they get um, some of these bigger grants from, on the 21st, 
for those of you that meditate, pray, believe in sending juju, let's just like share that love. Um, but like we, I believe profoundly in the power of us ordinary citizens getting behind grassroots. Like what, what a cool thing to be a part of, of Maya's world and Andrea's world and these boys, these young men. So for those of you that have a dollar, $10,000. I mean, like it is every dollar matters. It's all going to them. I'm going to put, I'll have my in the office. So when you go out, our office is on the left. I'll have our Facebook fundraiser up. If you're comfortable giving money there and you have a few dollars, please do. If you'd rather give a check or cash, we'll take that. Um, and this is, this is about, I, I have this um, one of my favorite philanthropists was a kindergartner, a classmate of my son's. When I was going to Nepal a couple years ago, we did a classroom fundraiser. Um, and she brought in a, a Ziploc baggie of her greatest treasures. It was her hair ties and um, her favorite barrettes and pennies and nickels and quarters. And it was literally every, everything she valued in the world. And she just was like, give it. Take this with you to Nepal and give it to someone that needs it. I'm like, that's a philanthropist. That's someone that's looking to make a difference with the stuff she's got with her treasure. So um, it's not meant, if you have nothing money-wise, like no pressure. That is not why we are here. It's just a, a ripple, a possibility, an invitation. Do you have anything to add? That I, I don't think so. That was okay. You had it right there. Okay. Well, thank you for thank you. your story for sh for being one of four times you've shared your story. I feel like talk about a treasure. Thank you. Um, and like I said, I will be sending, including a follow up email. So if there was something Maya said where you're like, oh my gosh, I want to talk to her more. We didn't hear much from my dear sister Andrea, but. Uh, I'll include a link to a Facebook Live we did, and I just like took notes with just the gold that comes from her heart and her mouth, and what she is doing in the world is just will inspire. So I'll include a link to that too. So let's just continue the rabbit holes and the ripples of all the all the fun. Um, okay, I think that was all of my closing on that. I'm just going to read one last thing um, as dishes clank clank into the, in the kitchen. That's how we roll. Um, this is from a closing in, oh yeah, thanks, Kofi. I mean, why? I was like, Kofi, will you just play your beautiful music in your cozy Kofi corner all night? Um, this is uh, the end of, of my book, Live a Blaze, and the end is called Not the End, and that's how I feel about tonight. Like, not, th the end is it's time to get to bed, but not the end, I hope. So these are a couple of little excerpts from the, from the not the end. As we approach the end of this leg of our journey together, this is not the end, because we have much to do together. I hope tonight that you Feel you have become a vital part of a mighty community of many others who wade into the deep and dark places of the world, carrying torches of hope as they go. Together, we are peacemakers, not fettered by fear of difference, the unknown, or the unfamiliar. We keep it real. We speak about and listen to what really matters to one another. We live beloved, and we fervently vow to be love. We are humble warriors of love and justice who belong to one another. So that is my closing blessing and vocation for our night, to take, as Daniel said, this blessing of being loved, belonging to yourself and to one another and and taking steps leaps whatever it is to making a difference in your beautiful unique never seen before never will be ever seen before way so i love you guys thank you for coming
and dealing with these puffy mics. <laughs> and um, please stay. Um, Kofi, on the table, we have uh, some T-shirts of his. And um, I will loop into his world because he has some really cool music and dance events that are just, as Kat said, people like me and like, I mean, that don't dance, end up dancing with Kofi. Okay, let's just say that. So I love you guys. Thank you for coming. And please stay if you can and stay connected. All right. Bless you. Thank you.